all began about two and a half thousand years ago in ancient Greece, or modern Greece as it then was, because of a chap by the name of Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Did he have a theory or something? The square of the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of... That's right, Pythagoras' theorem. A bit of a bore, I never quite understood it. Well, actually, I think that Pythagoras was a pretty interesting bloke. Oh, yeah? He had a school in which all his pupils had to give up their worldly possessions, eat only vegetables, and swear never to touch beans. Why on earth not? Pythagoras believed that when you fart, a bit of your soul escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing what you learn in schools nowadays, isn't it? It's true that Pythagoras was a little, well, weird's about the only word for it. He studied in Egypt and the Middle East, and on his return home, set up his vegetarian school of math. Here, he devoted himself to exploring the wonders and mysteries contained in numbers. Pythagoras was the first man to come up with the idea of odd and even numbers, and he gave them sexes. One was male, two was female, and so on. He also had a thing about whole numbers, collections of ones. He realised that certain whole numbers make pleasing shapes. Three makes a triangle, four a square. One plus two plus three plus four makes ten, which forms a magic triangle. Pythagoras was also convinced that one would eventually help explain one of the fundamental philosophical questions of the day. The Greek philosophers were forever trying to find out the one thing that everything is made of. One philosopher said everything's made of fire, another air, another water. Pythagoras said that everything was made of numbers. And since whole numbers are collections of ones, one must be the essential material out of which the universe is constructed. One had never been so admired. But ultimately, Pythagoras' whole belief system was doomed. And ironically, it was the triangle that made him famous, which was to prove his undoing. If one was at the heart of everything, it should also be at the heart of every triangle, even the right angle triangle with two equal sides. The problem is, it's not. Pythagoras kept trying to make all three sides an exact number of units, but it just couldn't be done. When one of his disciples tried to point this out, the others drowned him. Pythagoras' whole belief system that the world was made up of units was a lie. No! Pythagoras, brought down by his own favourite geometrical shape. 